the best pasta you ever read. Oh yeah. Oh, good. I traveled here to Rome, the capital of Italy, the center of Western civilization, and perhaps more importantly, the birthplace of spaghetti alla carbonara. I've come here for the famous dish to get a healthy serving and to discover with you why this is the best pasta in all of Italy. Spaghetti alla carbonara is a part of the holy trinity of the Roman pasta plates, along with a martigiana and cacio e pepe. Cacio e pepe. Despite its simplicity, its love throughout Rome and indeed throughout the country of Italy and in fact if you do a search on the web you'll see it's one of the most famous pasta plates throughout the world but I want to know why what makes this plate so delicious such a favorite well the answer lies somewhere in these streets when I was a boy every birthday that I had my mom would allow me to have the plate of my desires and I always asked for lasagna, lasagna, and she would cook me up a big fat plate of lasagna every year on my birthday. As I got older and I learned to cook for myself, I bought a big fat Italian cookbook. I still have it to this day. I'd go through and try different pasta recipes and star my favorite ones, and I learned how to make spaghetti alla carbonara, and I discovered it is so damn good, but why? Well, the journey continues. We are here, Ristorante Macaroni. Let's see if my lifelong questions are answered. Allora, l'acqua e poi... Naturale o gassata? Uh, naturale. Naturale e poi... And then pasta alla carbonara. La tonorella alla carbonara. Molto bene. Grazie. So we're getting tonorella alla carbonara. It's like spaghetti, but a little bit thicker. Think bocconcini or something like that. It's a thicker spaghetti. A little longer than a few minutes later. It's arrived, here we go. Do you think pasta alla carbonara is the best pasta in all of Italy? In all the love either, I don't know, but in Rome for sure. There you go. Thanks, man. <laughs> taste why is this so damn good although it boasts eggs it has a ridiculous amount of sharp pungy pecorino cheese goat's cheese and savory salty pork <laughs> just take a minute to enjoy this we are sitting in Rome the cradle of Western civilization enjoying spaghetti alla carbonara oh yeah oh, it's good fresh Italian ingredients, the Roman air, it's all absorbed into this one dish, making the carbonara experience even more magical. Mm. Now I want to explain more about this pasta and why the story stuck with me. Despite it being loved around Italy and here in Rome, its origins are quite unknown. There's one theory that the carbonati the woodcutters and the charcoal makers who lived northeast of Rome in the Apennine Mountains, well, they would cook their pasta over hard wood and charcoal and toss it with some eggs and cheese. If you're liking these tips and information on dining in Italy and eating in Italy, I made a whole e-guide that you can download, have in your pocket when you're traveling here around the country. There's a link to it downstairs. Another theory, and one I like, is in 1944, when the Americans were liberating Rome and Italy, coming from the south, when they were here in Rome, food was hard to come by, and they used their egg rations, their powdered egg rations and bacon, and they gave it to the Italians, and the Italians whipped up a pasta plate, mixing in those ingredients with water, and you came up with spaghetti alla carbonara and I also think that the Italians wanted to make the Americans something similar to what they were having at home eggs and bacon. If you guys are enjoying this video hit the like button that helps the video get enjoyed by many more and if you haven't yet subscribed I know a lot of you aren't yet subscribed make sure to click that subscribe button down below so you're not missing out on any of my upcoming videos. I want to find out what goes into spaghetti alla carbonara? What's the magic pixie dust, the atoms, the cells that give life to this pasta dish? Okay, we're getting a look at the no, kitchen. Mari, no. Oh, no? 
da, da finestra. Uh, vorrei vedere la pasta carbonara come si fa. Ok, tra un po'. Ok, quando sei pronto. Ma non so come fare. Valerio, giusto? Valerio, Valerio. Valerio. Can you tell me? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, che cosa si mette? I very bad. <laughs> What are the ingredients that go into carbonara? The egg, pecorino, and bacon. Guanciale, but the cheek. Guanciale, pig cheek. which is pig cheek. Was pig's cheek? Yes. Pecorino, which is uh, goat which is, cheese. No, I'll, it's a sheep cheese. The goat cheese is sheep's one. cheese. A lot of sheep's cheese. A lot of pepper, pepe. Pepper and, and egg, egg yolk. Egg, egg cream sauce. Yeah. Egg yolk. Wow. Simple ingredients, but a delicious dish. Look at this. Look at this. The best pasta in Italy, la carbonara. It's Roman, forse la pasta di Roma. La più famosa pasta romana. Why is it so famous? Perché è così famoso? In Italia, a Roma, le più famose sono Grigia, Matriciana, Cacerpete e Carbonara. Quale tu preferisci? Io preferisco Matriciana. Right there on top, the last special ingredient is the fresh pepper just thrown on top to give it that final kick. Ciao. 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 Bye. Whoa. Oh, what a cool experience right there inside of a Roman kitchen seeing them make the famous carbonata dish. Now, if you want all sorts of travel tips and hacks like this, I'm putting out a regular email newsletter. You can subscribe down below. Also consider becoming a channel member so you're getting early bird viewing to my videos and also you're getting little specialized emojis that go next to all your comments that change colors the longer you're a member. Is spaghetti alla carbonata the best dish in Italy? Well, I think so. What do you think? Regardless, I think it's been a transformative experience to be able to sit here in Rome, the birthplace of carbonara, and eat the plate of pasta on the streets. Ah, oh, la bella vita. Now watch this video next if you want tips for traveling around Italy.